right, friends, thanks for sticking with me. We're going to practice some more of our mod dividing uh, mixed numbers. And I'm going to go over how to do those again so we can work on it. Hopefully you're practicing. So our first one is 9 and a half divided by a half. We have to change this to improper. So first thing we do is we multiply 2 times 9. So 2 times 9 is 18. That's multiply. Then you add your numerator. That's 19. So we have 19 over 2. We change this to multiplication. And we flip this to the reciprocal, which is 2 over 1. Now, we can do the cross multiply thing, which really is handy. We see 2 and we see 2. Both of those are dividable, divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Making our multiplication so much simpler. 19 times 1 is 19. 1 times 1 is 1. Anything over 1 we know is 19. Now, let's say you didn't do that. You did, oops, make this simple for you. You left it just like this, and you said, okay, 19 times 2, this is a 2, sorry, is, let's see, 19 times, I have to do it off to the side because I don't know in my head. That's 38. Okay, 38 over 2. Then you just do your division. How many 2s are in 38? So if you did your division, you would have gotten the same answer, 19. So either way is fine. If your brain thinks like this, do that route. If your brain thinks like this, do that one. Totally fine. All right, let's look at our second one. We have 4 and 6. Oh, not 4. I read my number wrong. 9 and 6 tenths divided by 4 tenths. All right, multiply 90 plus 6, 96 over Times, we're going to flip this, 10 over 4, okay? We can cross multiply. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 4 into 96. Let's check that. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 into 16 is 4. So that does work. So we can cross this out and make it 24. Make this 1. Multiply across. We get 24 over 1 equals 24. Let's say that blew your brain. That's okay. We're going to do 96 times 10, which is 960. And we're going to do 10 times 4, which is 40. That leaves us with a really big number. That could be difficult to deal with. Anytime you have two numbers with a zero in them, you can go ahead and take those zeros off. Ah, making that much simpler. So let's do 4 and 96. 4 goes into 9 twice. Bring down our 6. 4 goes into 16 four times. And you get the same answer. Either way is fine, whichever way your brain thinks. Okay, last one. 4 and 5 tenths divided by 6 tenths. Okay, 10 times 4 is 40. Plus 5 is 45 over 10 times, flip this, 10 over 6. Okay, look at here. I can divide by 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 45 times 1 is 45. 1 times 6 is 6. Let's do our division. How many 6s are in 45? Hmm times 7 is 42, leaving me with a remainder of 3. That becomes my numerator. I keep the same denominator. If you look at 3 sixths, we know that's 1 half. So our answer is 7 and 1 half. Now, if you left this the way it was, let's go back and look at that. 45 times 10 is 450. 10 times 6 is 60. And remember on the last one, I said anytime both numbers have a zero, you can get rid of those zeros. And look, you're right back to what you were doing before. How many sixes are in 45? 7 and 3, 6, 4, 7, and 1. Keep practicing. I know you're getting it. If you need help, ask your family, ask your teacher. We're here to help you.